Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Hubsan X4 Pro. Uh, you may know this model, this is uh, not very new, it has uh, some time that it was uh, on the market. Uh, but it's still a very good uh, quadcopter and I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to show you why uh, this uh, thing still needs uh, some reviews because there are some things that were not mentioned in uh, other online reviews so I'm going to try to cover those first uh, but before we start I'm just going to show you some information this uh, quadcopter comes in uh, three variants so there is a high edition, a medium edition and a low edition and here you go the high edition comes with a three axis uh, gimbal and uh, a smart controller which is based on Android and has a large touchscreen is basically a tablet integrated into the transmitter while the medium and low versions come with the same uh, transmitter which is a normal small screen uh, regular FPV and uh, the medium edition has a 2-axis gimbal while the low edition doesn't have a gimbal it only has a, a tilt servo which adjusts the camera up and down and that's all, no stabilization for the camera and it also has a phone holder which I'm going to show you there are also some uh, confusion uh, besides the parachute the parachute was optional uh, but initially was uh, added bonus to the low edition version but now if you buy the low edition version it will not come with the parachute you will get this on a high edition or medium edition you need to check that first but it's no longer supplied with the low version so let's see what you get inside first and I think they could, couldn't make a larger box than this so first you get a booklet and inside you get a small manual in English and it's kind of okay because it's not written in Chinglish or Chinese English or something like that but it's in understandable English you get some notification how to fly on airports near airplanes how to calibrate the compass you don't fly it into the rain and some warnings and disclaimers so that's good for the start and this underneath this cardboard you get of course the quadcopter which is uh, surrounded by all these uh, other boxes of uh, different uh, size and uh, shape so you get here a set of uh, propeller guards with screws to fix you get a set of propellers actually there are two sets inside you get eight propellers in uh, this bag this is the FPV antenna which mounts on uh, the quadcopter a uh, small key to release the props if they lock onto the motor hub and this is a mini USB cable or probably connecting the quadcopter to the PC or the transmitter in uh, this box here you get the mobile phone holder this is an interesting uh, thing and concept it's a servo controlled phone holder it's like this and uh, the phone uh, gets caught in uh, these adjustable clips you can slide, slide them in and out just like that to adjust to various sizes uh, if you have a good mobile phone with good camera performance or even a phone that has image stabilization you can use this and uh, put your phone and film with it directly of course you can also stream from your phone to the internet so you can uh, stream live on YouTube on Facebook if you want to that's an interesting uh, addition to this quadcopter here of course you don't get the parachute because it's not included but you get the transmitter and the transmitter I'm just going to show you quickly show it to you the transmitter looks just like this it comes with an antenna uh, pre-installed this is the control antenna 
2.4 GHz and here you are going to install the FPV receiver antenna which is this antenna and it also has a small screen Uh, you get uh, some basic functions like enabling disabling GPS position hold this is headless mode this uh, switch here doesn't work this one is for adjusting the pitch of the servo control camera uh, this one is for automatic return to home and also this one doesn't work on uh, this model the rest are trims which are not used in uh, GPS positioning and you can access the menu and change the frequency for the controller of course you get a simple button to turn on or off it has a USB port probably for updating the firmware and a video out which should work with some monitors or uh, FPV goggles with uh, video input this thing is powered by 8 uh, AA batteries that, and it includes a holder for that but it will also run with a 3S LiPo battery and it uses an internal JST connector so there are a lot of batteries that uh, this transmitter could work with and that's a nice addition last but not least you also get a balance charger for 1 to 3S batteries here are some specifications if you want to pause the video and uh, what is interesting about this its uh, output current is 4 amps and there's no way to adjust it but if you read the manual it says somewhere that it will automatically detect the capacity of your battery and adjust the current accordingly I'm not going to believe that and if you want to charge smaller batteries that are under 4 amps I would not recommend this because you may potentially uh, charge your LiPos too fast but if you want to charge the quadcopter battery with it it's okay because this one has a large uh, uh, 7000 milliamps battery and this outputs only 4 amps so it will slow charge your battery so there isn't a problem there it also comes with a power brick and some adapter cables to connect to XT60 batteries and now we can move on to the quadcopter so here is the X4 uh, pro so called pro model but I wouldn't call this pro because uh, it only comes with an HD camera and this is a so called one axis gimbal it doesn't do any kind of stabilization but it's a simple servo that adjusts the camera pitch you do get some insulators for it but that's all and uh, by the way this is the front of the quadcopter while the battery is in the rear it has some weird design but this thing here lights up and it also comes with a JST connector here for uh, plugging uh, power to your own gimbal and has some uh, servo output here and an FPV cable that goes to the camera so you just hook up the included antenna here and you get FPV to your monitor which is nice, you don't have to mod it to add FPV it's now FPV capable let's also take a quick look at the battery so inside the battery is inserted already and this is the included battery it's a 7000 milliamps battery 3 cell and uh, it's 25C discharge rate or it's rather large here is a 4 amp battery in a comparison with it so you can see definitely a size difference between them and a 5.2 amp battery which is again smaller than uh, the Hobson's battery what is uh, nice about uh, using this type of batteries is that it comes with 6060 connector so you can use your own cheap batteries with it you don't need a special battery for it a smart battery like some other quadcopters use now I want to make a small comparison between uh, the idea fly 350 the x4 pro and the phantom 3 and I'm going to tell you why each uh, 
would uh, benefit of uh, getting your attention or not and uh, why you should choose one uh, beside the other and so on so i'm going to start with the idea fly 350 this is a budget uh, uh, quadcopter it has gps it has position hold but it does not have uh, fpv it does not have uh, uh, a camera included it does have a two axis gimbal but if you want fpv and so on you need to mod your own like i did on uh, mine so i had to install a fpv transmitter with antenna and wire uh, it to my own provided camera in this case it's a github key 2 but it's nice that you did uh, you will get a two axis gimbal so you have somewhere to start with it also doesn't come with my monitor that you see here it's only this transmitter which doesn't even have a LCD monitor so there, there is absolutely no information even if your batteries are going to run out you don't know that so it's rather basic so this I would recommend just for beginners but it's not good for beginners if you want to mod it because you need some uh, knowledge to install fpv and so on so it's somewhere between more to enthusiast beginners if you don't have money you can start with it and uh, later add needed components what is nice about it it uses regular batteries like this cheap batteries so for 20 30 dollars you can get a battery and uh, it has a very long flying time you can get up to 25 minutes no problem when uh, we talk about the Hubsan X4 you can see that this one comes with a larger transmitter and I show you that it comes with a built-in monitor so that's nice so you get FPV right out of the box you don't get a gimbal but you do get a HD camera a full HD camera and FPV so you have a place to start with but you will also need a gimbal so for 70 dollars you can get a three axis gimbal like this one this is the hack rc storm 32 gimbal this is a full three axis gimbal it has very good performance but needs to be somehow adapted to work with the x4 which i'm going to try later moving on to the phantom 3 you know that it comes with uh, its own uh, 4k camera its own uh, gimbal its light bridge technology so you get a uh, very good range very good image quality very good stabilization and uh, uses its own transmitter which uh, to have fpv and uh, can fly the quadcopter you also need to spend some extra money on a ta tablet because uh, there is not one included and it's uh, mandatory to add one uh, if you want to fly because otherwise you cannot even uh, lift off or you can lift off but you have no control over uh, your quadcopter uh, another disadvantage of the Phantom 3 is uh, its uh, battery it uses smart batteries like this one uh, although they are good quality and uh, uh, they have a predictable lifespan and uh, they uh, have uh, uh, their own firmware and so on. Uh, this battery actually costs around $150, which is a lot of money. And uh, in real life, you can fly it for around 20 minutes. So you can surpass that with the Hubsan X4 and even with the Mars 350 you can take them both over 20 minutes loaded with gimbals and cameras while with this one you may end up around 20 minutes uh, on a critical level so you can uh, not go uh, much ab above that uh, even the original um, time it's mentioned to be 23 minutes in ideal conditions so you don't fly in ideal conditions ever uh, what is also interesting about all this quad, uh, they use the same props. You can use uh, DJI props on, of course, the Phantom 3 because uh, this is their, their proprietary props, but they work on the Hubsan and they work on the Mars 350. And they all have similar motors and similar uh, performance uh, when we talk about flying. So uh, this was the quick introductory part uh, regarding the X4 uh, quadcopter and uh, the comparison with uh, the other models. Uh, soon I'm going to try to install the gimbal to it because I really need a gimbal on it. 
and to do that I think I'm going to modify the tablet holder because I'm not going to use this tablet or phone holder I'm going to use the plate that connects to the Epson and I'm going to show you why there is a smart thinking done on this quad if you turn it upside down you can see you just unplug the servo cable and the FPV cable it has a clip on the front and if I hold the clip I can slide the camera with the servo out and now it's gimbal and camera free and I can install my own and I'm thinking of using that plate and connecting it to my gimbal so I can uh, change it or remove it when I don't want it there so that's very easy to do you can also fly it without a gimbal and you get a lot of extra time without gimbal just running the battery you can get up to 40 45 minutes with it so that's really nice so that was for uh, this uh, episode until next time bye bye